Hey guys, this is Mike here from adventuresincierry.com. Uh, today we're going to be talking about grossing up reimbursable expenses and how it works in Argus. This is a follow-up from a blog post I did back in late October. Uh, if you haven't caught that yet, please head over to our website and you can check it out back at adventuresincierry.com. And once you're done reading through that, come back and follow along here. So today I've created a fictitious property uh, in order to be able to demonstrate how grossing up reimbursable expenses works. Currently I have five tenants and they're all triple net lease. This is just a way to make everything simple. All the tenants are paying all their expenses and it really helps demonstrate clearly how this grossing up process works. So for now, every, every, everybody is triple net. Um, for another blog post, we're going to use the same model, and it's going to be for uh, billing back reimbursable expenses and the three different methods that we talked about on another blog post. But for now, everybody is triple net lease. So in order to do this, I've come in here and I've created some reimbursable expenses. As you can see, we have insurance, real estate taxes, CAM, and the management fee. Now. Insurance and real estate taxes we're not going to focus on because they're 100% fixed. And if you remember from the blog post, you can only gross up reimbursable expenses. Uh, I'm sorry, you can only gross up variable expenses and not fixed expenses. So we're not going to focus on that. And we're not going to focus on CAM because this will get a little messy. You can see we have all these sublines, uh, you know, and just a, a bunch of different fixed percentages and all that. So we're going to we're going to save this for later and we're going to strictly focus on management fees. So with the management fee, as you can see in year 1 we have $10,000 and this is a dollar amount per year and it's 75% fixed. This means that no, mat no matter what, whether we're 0% occupied or 100% occupied in this building, we are automatically paying $7,500. And that 25% is the variable expenses, and that will be billed according to the occupancy rate. So if we're 100% occupied, we're being billed $10,000, and so on and so forth. If we're 0%, if we're then just the $7,500. So if you look down here, you see we have an option to do gross up for reimbursement or not. So for now, we're going to keep that off, and we're going to demonstrate both and the impact on... I guess the bottom line, the impact on your NOI with this uh, reimburse, this gross up for reimbursement. So now that we have everything put in, which I've done that pre-recording, everything is, is all set up. We're going to check out the property reports. So let's take a quick look here. Here we can see we have our management fee that's being billed to us at $8,967 and you can see the management fee that we're charging our tenants is $5,261 and this is without grossing up the reimbursable expenses. So let's take a look at how these numbers were calculated. And I'm going to walk you through. I've created a, an Excel file that we can check out and walk through this together. So as you see, for, I don't know why it says insurance, let's just say management fee, sorry, let me change that real quick. So as you can see, year one is $10,000. We have our fixed percent, as I said earlier, 75%, and the building is 58.67% occupied. And if I didn't show you that before, let's quickly take a look, and I will show you. Right here, you can see this is 58.67%. So let's figure out how we got these numbers. So you have your fixed expense, which is fairly straightforward. It's 75% of the $10,000. And now you have your variable expense. So the simple way that this is done is you take your $10,000 and you subtract your fixed expense from it, which will leave you with the $2,500. And you simply multiply that by your occupancy rate, which in this case is 58.67%. So the total variable expenses on this building for $1,467 in year one. So that gives us our total operating expense. Now, without grossing up for reimbursable expenses, you're left with strictly that number, the $8,967, and your tenants 
are going to be simply paying 58.67% of that. And the owner pays 3,706. So let's take a look now if we gross up for reimbursement. Now, I want you to notice over here you have 100% occupancy. You can make this anything. You can gross up for 95%, which is also fairly common, which means that when you're grossing up, it'll only gross up to $9,500. However, it's becoming much more common in the industry today to see grossing up to 100%. So let's turn that on, which we did. Close it. Let's relook at the report. And let's check it out. So as you can see, we're still billed the same amount. However, we have a management fee reimbursable payment to the owner for $5,867 now. So let's check out how this happened. So as we said before, this is, this is what is charged to the owner. It's the same as above. However, with the tenant now, we've grossed, we've grossed up expenses to the tenant to 100%, which means that to the tenant, they're looking at the building as if this was we had just paid $10,000, if we just got billed $10,000. And so in order to do this correctly, you charge the tenant the pro rata share of the $10,000. And simply that leaves us with $5,867 which is exactly what we have here, $5,867. And that leaves us with a remaining of $3,100 as landlord. So as a result, we get an additional $606. And for the rationale behind why this is common in the industry, you can go and read the blog and it'll give you a very clear explanation of why this is commonly practiced now uh, within the real estate industry. So that's a fairly, fairly straightforward explanation of how grossing up expenses work. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and please stay tuned and keep up with the blog, and we will be posting much more in the future.